So I heard about this video. Listen, I heard about this one, bro. And I came here because a lot of y'all saying, this is what our border should be like. So I came here to see what all the, the craziness was about. But I heard about this video here. Let's say I want to go through this wall. I break through the wall. What happens to me next? You will die like a dog. The lowest unemployment in European Union is Poland. The highest GDP after COVID, Poland. One of the lowest debts. Poland. This is Dominik, a member of the European Parliament from Poland, the country that just approved a new measure to shoot and kill anyone that tries to illegally enter their border. Unfortunately, one of our soldiers was killed with a spear. Because they behave like animals, unfortunately. They don't behave like civilized people. We are the ones with, the, with this border. So we are protecting the whole Europe. But Poland's strict border control and refusal to take in refugees from non-neighboring countries like Syria and Afghanistan has caused the EU to propose a 22,000 euro fine for each person Poland refuses to take in and guys like Dominik to be labeled Islamophobic and fascist. And Jean-Claude Juncker, the commission president, says that you're racist. You sound proud of the fact that you you haven't taken any refugees. Of course, because this is what our people are expecting from our government. That's number one. This is why Poland is so safe. I don't care. I care about my family and about my country. When I see the wall, I do understand that this is for my future children. Does Poland's strict border policy work? Is Poland significantly safer than the rest of Europe because of it? And do the people of Poland want open borders? Poland are racist. We are proud of it. And I, re I don't really want any immigrants in my country, you know? Thank you, man. Before meeting with Dominique, I headed to the capital of Poland, Warsaw, to see what the local... Let's, let, me, let me make my stance very clear, right? I have an issue with people doing things illegally, then coming here doing illegal things. If you do it the right way, I have no problem. I have no problem, bro. My issue is the illegal way and then you come here and do things illegally that's that's it like you come here and do it the right way and then you come here and be like upstanding hard-working citizen like what, what what is there to even talk about so nah so now nah, what that guy was just saying i i don't know Locals thought of Poland's border and their border patrol now being able to kill migrants illegally trying to enter their country. Uh, at university, what are a lot of the students' thoughts on, you know, shooting down illegal immigrants who come through the border? Uh, I've never heard about it. Okay. But, yeah, okay. It is bad because I don't see any purpose to use a gun for the person. First of all, we need to talk. We need to uh, identify the intention of other person. Oh my God, that's like a tough question. But it's a crazy question, right? Yeah, but to be honest, like I'm not sure like how they're controlling the borders, but like I saw a lot of refugees in the centrum here. There are a lot of immigrants all around the Europe and sometimes it can be dangerous for the Europeans. What are your thoughts on if you came here illegally? What should be done? Oh, I guess I should, I should go in prison. Do you feel safe here in Poland as a woman? Yeah, very much. Do you feel safer here in Poland as a woman than you do in India? Yeah, it's more safe. Yeah, yeah it's more safe. A lot safe. You can walk, like uh, go to work at night and nobody cares and nobody is like threatening you. Oh, it's not very safe. No? We cross from the main streets. Yeah. I really feel not very safe because there are some strange people. Here? Uh, yes. Yeah, like men in general. Oh, some sick people. Okay. Uh, they frighten me. Who should the border keep out? Who should it let in, in Poland? Nice people, kind, and the way of good help. Okay. Do you, do you think having a more strict stance on the border keeps Poland safer or? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure. I know that many people have that opinion. Okay. I want to believe that it doesn't really matter from which country you're coming. Okay. Um, you know, if you apply to the culture, it's going to be fine. Uh, safety it has nothing to do with the border. Okay, nothing? Nothing. What are your thoughts on immigration in Poland? Uh, I'm a political immigrant. И поэтому не мне отвечать на этот вопрос. Я пока не сталкивался с какими-то негативными проявлениями в свой адрес. Um, why did you come from Belarus to Poland? Uh, я политический активист, uh, и обратно дороги в Беларусь мне на данный момент нет. How was your experience going through the Belarusian-Polish border? У меня чуть другой маршрут, я прилетел... Чуть другой маршрут, я прилетел из Грузии, я жил в Тбилиси некоторое время. 
А, поэтому в моем случае без экстрима обошлось. Ну, я считаю, что здесь женщине безопасно. И заниматься бизнесом тоже очень хорошо. Um, ну, я считаю, по международному праву все э, страны защищают свою территорию. Но это на законодательном уровне. Никто из хозяев, но ну, если есть граница, существует. Должны соблюдаться э, ну, законные вот эти данные. Поэтому ну, если ты нелегально пересечаешь, ты территориальную целостность не защищаешь. Считаю, что государство праве применять оружие для защиты своей территории. Э, если ты бежишь от войны, пожалуйста, регистрируйся, получай документы, работай. Мне кажется, страна очень комфортна для жизни и, по-моему, очень толерантно относится ко всем беженцам. Я бежала от войны, и тем не менее, за два года мы тоже здесь и открыли бизнес, и работаем, мы платим налоги. Few hours and and you fled for political asylum or you work here uh, why did you I, come I work, yeah I okay work. i believe like in most poland especially like the eastern part in warsaw we are like fully open for okay. everybody who wants to come here in every purpose a lot of people lost their houses lost the safety in their life yeah so i don't do not see any problem with that in my opinion i don't have any okay. problem with that even so. illegally you know what In my opinion, it is like hard to be illegally yeah. at this moment because you have to cross the border. I think this is not like the main spectrum of a problem. This, it, most of them want to be here legally because they want to have a work. Um, so if they come to Poland, but they are from a country that's not a neighboring country to Poland, should they be allowed to come in here and be a refugee? Yes, yeah, sure. Because yeah. We've been in this situation in I Poland. See. We have a travel history, so we need a help for our neighbor. What are your thoughts on uh, illegal immigration? Uh, I think the crime rate is going much higher so okay. far. So what about like Syrian refugees, like Afghanistan refugees, uh, Eritrea? Are they close enough to be considered? See, that's the problem we were having here. The, the crime and different things where people have the issue. That's where the issue lies. Again, it's not the people that are saying they don't want you here. No. Well, I can't speak for everybody, from, but from the, what I'm hearing on the most part is they're okay if you come here the right way. They're okay with it. And then you come here and you're not committing crimes and doing things, right? That seems to be most people that I've seen or heard from stance. Like, yeah, the right way. Not coming here causing a problem Now we having to get ice involved. Then you're getting out of jail. Then you're going back to doing the same thing or they deport you, come right back and commit more crimes. Like that is the problem that we're seeing. And it has to be addressed. If y'all look at my Grady Judge video with that, those uh, robberies and different things that were going on in Florida, bro, it's a problem. So they're neighbors or should they go to the neighboring country? They're not like, of course, they're geographically, they're not our neighbors. Yeah. But if they looking for a safe place, they want to be here legally. They want to have a work. They want work, to build yeah. a new life. I don't see a problem with that. Have you heard about the Belarusian Polish uh, hybrid war, they call it? Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Of course, this is not correct. I mean, to, to allow what to bring people from outside just to, to push them in, uh, sure. in you. But before heading to the Poland-Belarus border to see what Poland says is a hybrid warfare at play where Russia is sending migrants from China and Africa into Poland for them to then enter the rest of the EU and then financially and socially destabilize the rest of Europe. I met up with Dominique, member of the European Parliament and Poland's Law and Justice Party. Is this man a racist, alt-right, Islamophobe as the mainstream media and leftist detractors call him? I want to ask him How does Poland's new border wall work? Can any refugees come in? What is this hybrid war? And how does their border control differ from other EU countries? And more importantly, does it work? And I'm very happy that we are on the street, not in the studio. Yeah. You can see and everyone can see Japan. Yeah, the difference. It's beautiful. Would this look different in Paris, London, anywhere in Germany? What are your thoughts? I think the easiest way to answer it is Eurostat is the most important when it comes to the data. Okay. The safest country in Europe, Poland. The lowest unemployment, Poland. The less crimes, Poland. So if you ask me about any data, we are leaders. Okay. And that is the fact. It's not my political opinion. Yeah. When I quote this in European Parliament, 
They were very unhappy. Also, if you want to support our boots on the ground, independent journalism that is not bought and paid for by corporate interests, along with uncensored early access to all my videos before they go up on YouTube, and exclusive DLC content that YouTube won't let me upload, go subscribe at patreon.com slash Tyler Oliveira for less than five bucks a month. The whole discussion on migration started in 2015 when Germany started this madness. In 2018, I said quite famous words, zero illegal migration in Warsaw, in every single police city. We don't want any illegals. Then they called me Islamophobe. If someone is from China, if someone is from India, or someone is, it doesn't matter who he is, what sure. he believes in. If he's illegal, we do not want that. The difference between refugee and migrant, especially illegal migrant, is very, very, very clear. The refugee is the person who flee from the country on conflict, of right. conflict, to the first safe country. I didn't know that Syria is bordering country with Poland. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay. To the first safe country. That is why we took over two million Ukrainians. Legal. Because you are contiguous, you guys border That's one right. Another. That's okay. right. We're, In the case were... of Syria, Afghanistan, Eritrea, that is not the case. They are not refugees. I, I'm trying to repeat it every single time. If you want to come, you can come. Submit your documents, ask for a visa, stay here for six or 10 months, pay taxes, contribute to the society, then you're welcome. Why not? We are not North Korea. Sure. Well, why are Syrian Afghanistan refugees coming to Poland and not- Migrants. Um, uh, UAE. Uh... Why Qatar did not react? Why, why, why aren't they going to Qatar? Very rich Arab country. Okay. Where is Qatar? I'm trying to ask this question yeah. for years now. Yeah and I cannot find any answers because we've been told that this is a global problem so there is a need for a, for a global solidarity. So there is no global solidarity. Sure. Like Qatar is the, the great example. Our soldier was killed with a spear by that. the illegal. Terrible. So that would happen on the streets if, the, if we would let them in. They started this madness by, by willkommen politik. Okay. That was the politic, you know, uh, welcoming illegals because they were hoping for, for cheap labor. Okay. They found out that those who came illegally, they do not, they don't want to work. They don't want to work, but there's mo much more crimes. Sure. So they said, okay, let's spread them around. Let's say that this is our responsibility and European solidarity, and then we're going to get rid of this problem. So in European Union, they started so, uh, well, the, the thing they called quota system. Okay. Each country should take migrants. Uh, they are, they called refugees. That's how they call them. They, they, they says you're going to pay like 22,000 euros per person if you will not take them in. And you guys said, no, we no, are not doing that. Of course not. What were the consequences to that old action, I suppose? They tried to force us to take illegals. We said, no, it's better to pay. It's better to have frozen assets, whatever, rather than risk our own life. Okay. And look at the streets now. Do a pan? There you go. Has Poland always been this way, Dominic? This, yeah. this is what is needed to understand why we cherish our freedom so much. All right. Because of Russia, Russia, because of Germany, historically, Poland did not exist for 123 years. We gained our Terrible. independence back in 1918. So after that, after 1918, we had a little bit of freedom. But then in 1939, Germany and Russia attacked. Both fronts? Both. And we had this terrible communism in Poland for 70 years. That's why I hate Putin. I hate him okay. because he's trying to go back to the Soviet Union era. The way he behaved, the, the way Russia behaved is unpredictable. 123 years. Police? <laughs> Finally, we have an MP with a great English. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh, when, when did this hybrid war begin? Uh, is this uh, an act of Russia trying to antagonize? Of course, of course. Okay. It's because when you go through the papers, you see that the guys who came to Belarus are with the Russian visas. Okay. So we know that by the fact, it's not an opinion. I see. So the whole process of traveling is organized by Russia. And because of the green border yeah. with Belarus, they are able to come to Belarus and attack our border. So it's organized by Russia, of course. And they want to destabilize Poland and other countries because the, the, the whole thing is not only about Poland, uh, Hungary, Italy and others. In this part of Europe, we know that Russia is responsible. And when you push back against the... Um... And I never looked at it from that point of view, not to say 
it's true or not. Nobody can never really say whether or not that's true. But to look at it from that standpoint as well, to say somebody is deliberately doing that and sending them in that way to cause problems and things, it's interesting. Muslim refugees, illegal immigrants, whoever they were, why did they call you an Islamophobe? What happened there? First of all, it's not true. Okay. One of my closest friends his friend is from Syria. Ah, okay. You know, he came here legally. Spot. He started his company. Yeah. He paid taxes. He's been here for many years. Right. And we are very close friends. And he's from Syria. And he says, never, ever let them come in. Well, of course, they okay. call us racist. They call us uh, Islamophobes. It's not true. They try to tell us that the doctors will come. Engineers will come. That our society. Sure. It's all bull. Do you need doctors? Of course not. Do you need I mean, doctors? Well, okay. but we need doctors, yeah, not yeah. doctors, right? Do you need their doctors? No, thank you. <laughs> Pay them. Right. I want Poland to be like this. Look. Now, is most of Polish government in agreement with your stances on this? Is uh, this phrase "be like Poland" because of decisions which were made by our government? Yes, yes. Dzień dobry. Dominic, you're loved far and wide here, it seems. It's like this message is resonating with a lot of the public. And you have to remember that this is a very liberal city. Sure. Are you a big fan of them? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Tell me about the live bullets, the fact that you can now kill illegal immigrants trying to enter the border. I love it. If you want to, if you want to, if you are trying to commit a crime on the Polish soil, you might be dead. We do not know if you are a refugee, a migrant, or a terrorist. That's why after our, after our soldier was killed, our parliament passed a law that we can use live bullets to protect our nation. He heard that right. it... Sheesh, his response though was just... Golly, like he was, he didn't hesitate to say that or respond like that. Wow. Appeared, but there is no such a zombie cities like Philadelphia, San, Fran San, San Francisco. We don't have yeah. that. You know why? Why not? Because we are protecting our border. Okay. That's the way they, they, they try to smuggle it into the country. Any illegal activity is always connected to the drugs okay. or guns. But drugs is a, is a very good business. Yeah. So it's not only about having illegals, it's also about security and anti-war drugs, anti-drug war. So we are winning at the moment. Yeah, they said that's how the fentanyl is getting into the country as well here through through immigration as well, through the borders and different things like that. So you can see how bad you are. Putin toilet paper. How safe they feel, you can tell. It's just it's just beautiful. You can't see this kind of this kind of thing in Europe anymore. Uh, when do you think the rest of Europe lost this? When they decided to be politically correct. And it started with, with the leftists. This is what they want. They want diversity. What kind of diversity? With a knife and a rifle? Is this is this diversity? Sure. Beautiful. You do not see soldiers with the rifles sure. as you see in London or in France. There's no need. We are not racist. We are not Islamophobes. We are logical. So I think it's very important to have this discussion, uh, our discussion while eating. Okay. I tell you why. Why? Because it's so peaceful. Can you show around? Beautiful. How, 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 how peaceful it is. You don't feel any stress. You do not feel any anxiety. You don't feel threatened by anyone. You don't have anyone coming to your table and, you know, asking, asking for money for or for whatever. You just sit, relax, and you have a nice beer, and then you have beautiful pierogies. This is what I love about Poland. That's you why. you have homeless people here? Well, every country has okay. the homeless, but can you see any? Why are the women so beautiful here? What about men? Uh, hello? Uh, no offense to the guys. No. <laughs> Poland is the last stronghold of normality in Europe and in the world in many, many ways. Come and visit. And you made sure I wasn't a Russian propaganda asset, right? I hope you're not. <laughs> you would be killed. All right. The whole process of replacement is just a fact by the numbers. It's not my political opinion. By the numbers, we are in a very very bad situation and listen to me i i do understand that you will have maybe someone who will translate it into a arabic or any other do not come to the polish border what will happen if you do and you try to enter illegally you might be killed if you will come here illegally you will try 
to harm any of our soldiers. You will be killed. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to pierogies, to Poland, and um, come. I'm telling you. <laughs> Do you am on This stream? is the only interview in my whole career <laughs> where I let someone record me when I, while I'm eating. How is it? As a man of the people. It tastes like freedom. It's Saturday night. Look, look, look. There's no beggars, there's no homeless, there's no fentanyl. We don't do Chick fil A, we don't. McDonald's? No, we don't. Burger King? No, we don't. KFC? No, we don't. <laughs> we do proper Polish, very healthy. Uh, what are your thoughts on Poland? Mm. Uh, we are in yesterday. So Where are you from? Uh, Rome, Italy, yeah. Do you feel safer as a woman? Yes, yeah. Do you feel safe in Rome as a woman? Or Italy? Sorry. No, not at all. Why? It's Ladies. dangerous. Where are you from? When you compare Rome, he's going to eat. I visited. What do you feel like? Because it's not safe. Why is it not safe? Uh, because we don't think safe like working on a night. Who are you afraid of at night? Men. Which men? Men in general or specific types of men who come from different places? Like men. Italian men? Yeah. Fair enough. What no. do you think? Can I ask you? Here's a thought. Can we please order in the meanwhile? Yes, they do. <laughs> can you, can you, should you buy them one? Thank you. Should you buy them one? Hmm. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. They don't need it. They don't need it. They can buy their own. Why do you think they feel unsafe and wrong? Let's be honest. Now, my only question is now, are they blaming everything on the migration issue? Because I don't think that's the complete reason as to why a country would be safe. It's part of, I don't think it's the complete reason. Like you go to Dubai, I don't think their reasoning why they're safe is because of a migration issue. No, they're, they're very strict over there. They don't play around. They don't mess around. Like they take that safety and security very serious the crime is low the different things they're doing also implemented helps out to make it as to the as to how safe it is there you know what i mean i i i don't think that's the total issue but this dude here is pretty interesting i i can't put my finger on it um yeah yeah, yeah. I, he's he's an interesting character though because of Africans, they are afraid to say something. So his argument is that African migration to Italy has had a, an impact increasing the rate uh, in Italy, for example, or in Germany, or in France, or in UK. Would that be accurate? Would you stand on business to that fact? No. Well, when we meet like uh, a guy in the street, we don't know uh, if he's Italian, uh, English, Spanish. Uh, it's like a potentially dangerous. Mm, okay, okay. We, the, the, can I can I ask you for your what do you think about Prime Minister Meloni? Go go go. Meloni. Meloni. Uh, She's going to deport people now. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think? Good or bad? No, no trick answer. Bad. Good or bad? Totally bad. Bad, bad person. She's Why is she bad? She's not tolerant. She's racist. Oh, she's, she's racist. Open. She's not tolerant. Oh. <laughs> so, you, so you don't know who's raping? What do you mean? I don't understand the question. Like you're trying to you say don't, something. You she don't. She doesn't understand the question. I, like, I, what are you trying to say? Yo, he coming off real weird right now, bro. Like. Uh, it's like the later it gets, his real personality is coming out. Eh. Okay, so one more question. Who's going to win in the U.S.? What do you think? It's going to be Kamala or Trump? <laughs> Hopefully Kamala. There you go. Thank you very much. Ladies, have a beautiful oh, night in Paul. We support leftists in the U.S. Why they want Kamala to win when they are not happy about safety in Italy because of illegal migration? What the it's going on in their brains. They, they, they said a few words that I think are important. Inclusivity, right. acceptance, right? And I think that's it. Acceptance. The real acceptance is in Poland. I'm from Iraq, I'm Kurdish. And uh, it's been two years I live in Gdańsk. I study masters. So what do you do in Poland? Yeah, I study masters in international business. So you are from Iraq, mm -hmm. moving to Poland to study. Yep. Are you legally in Poland? I'm legally in Poland. Okay. I have a little. 
You're very welcome. Thank you're you very legally, much. Uh, you're very welcome. Appreciate it. I watched all of your videos and I totally support you. I love that you respect your country. Here's a here. I'm also like, are you Christian? I'm, I'm an okay, darling. Oh, interesting. <laughs> welcome, brother. Welcome. True love. Whatever you are, whatever your fight is, if you are legally in here, you are very welcome. I really like that you put all the Polish people first before anything else. That, like you said, we, we have normality here. Okay, normality. We don't, we, we don't have chaos here. Okay. Uh, you can you can express your whatever you are. Just don't push your agenda on someone. Okay. I'm with, my, I'm with my girlfriend, and I Where told you, uh, come over, come over. Is she Polish? Yeah. Yeah. Dzień dobry. Hello. My name is Amir. Cześć. You're super, you, you just get me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this, this dude is a, is a piece of work, man. And he's just randomly at, with this guy out in the streets and talking to people. I would love to hear the people's thoughts away from him. Because sometimes people, you know, they put on just because that person is standing in front of you and they won't be completely honest. I would love to see interviews. You know what I mean? What do y'all think? Do y'all think it will change or stay the same? You're very welcome. There we go. You, you see the difference between illegal and legal presence in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have a beautiful night. Appreciate it. Thanks. Happy. Yeah. She was cherished. She was taken care of. Yeah. If you want this Hollywood movies, this beautiful uh, stories of love to be real, you will not respect our women. We're gonna take care of you. Simple. You can. And with gratitude and respect. Pay your taxes, get Polish wife, become a Polish. Be like Poland. After a night out on the safe streets of Warsaw, Dominique took me to Poland's border they share with Belarus to show me a project they've spent $2.5 billion on to help keep Poland Polish. So we're here. This place looks brand new. They're not messing around. They're strapped. They got camouflage. They got big guns. They're not here smiling. They're here straight faced. Who are you? Why are you here? So luckily we have the clearance. We should be good to go through. Let's see how big and bad this wall is. They're not messing around. Okay, that seemed intense. They did not play it around. Was, no, no jokes. Do they know who you were? Yes, they know, but the procedure is procedure, and I, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. This is the border of European Union with Belarus. We are the ones with the, with this border, so we are protecting the whole Europe. How yeah. new is this? Well, the wall was built very, very fast. I must say, when the first um, attempts, look soldiers all the way through but don't record them okay. don't record them point out myself this is like this is a training camp this is home what is this they live here well when they have a service night and they have a place to change and prepare and this and that it's a lot of them our border was not ready for that but what we did we reacted straight away we built the wall you're going to see the wall in minute. after the murder of the the guard no, that was beforehand okay. when the whole madness started in europe yeah. our government decided okay that's enough we're not taking all this crap yeah. we're going to build the wall so but how exactly are they sending the refugees or the, the illegal migrants what, or... they do, what they do they invite them to russia okay they are getting a tourist visa they pay for it then they are transported from moscow or other places in uh, in russia to belarus and then to the border polish border and i've seen some tiktok videos of people trying to break through the wall well yes yeah, they, they try in every single night sure. it's not like you you don't have to protect it you do have to protect sure. it okay. let's let's park here and walk amazing okay? It looks peaceful out here. What time do people start trying to break into the wall? Uh, every night about three or four o'clock in the morning. Okay. This is when they trying to cross the border. They know that this is the best time. Oh, you can see soldiers now. Okay. You can see some guys. So he's aware are... of our presence. He's on guard. You see, you see, you, you just said that it's very peaceful. Sure. It, is peaceful. it, it took us 30 seconds to have a, to have a soldier reacting sure. for someone's presence. Nie przekracamy, mamy. Do mnie pan przypomnie, jak się pan nazywa? Dominik Tarczyński. Oh, okay. Does he know you? Yes, but you have to say your name. Ah, there's, there's no jokes. That's okay. why I think they're professional. They, okay. they know their job. So he says, he says, if we don't have a mask for us, it's not good to be there because they are recording Russians and Belarusians. They, they want to know who's into the subject who's interested in the border protection. So for our own safety, we don't have a mask. We shouldn't enter because it's not safe. It's it's a war, it's not a joke. So we'd be in the database? Yeah. 
And is this largely contested right here? Are people trying to go through this? Right, right. That's, it's much that's shorter, the... much shorter compared to this. And it was, it was thousands of them. Thousands, thousands of, people. of them in one day. They were trying to force Polish border and they lost. Okay. We stopped them. It was, I don't know, maybe 10,000 of them. A lot. So a lot of things going on at the moment. Look at that. There's clothes right there. Right. People are trying to get over this. Straight away. So I'm proud. I'm proud to be here to see this soldiers and to see their service and to see the wall because when i see the wall i do understand that this is for my future children for my future wife for my future family i would say to every single leftist if you don't believe that this is war come and see come and see let's say i'm from syria i want to go through this wall i break through the wall what happens to me next you're killed dead shot you will die like a dog what? you can hear now who is that belarus yeah you can hear them yeah, yeah. Who was that? It's a speaker or people? Yeah. No, 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 the people, people. They're, they're, are, they're in the groups, they communicate as well. They're very, well, they're very well organized. I think, I think they are, some of them are trained, paid, obviously. Sure. They are not just simple people. Like mercenary like, groups? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can tell that Russia pays well to destabilize, like Poland and other countries. They want us to spend money on this rather than around healthcare or anything else. One of their colleagues was killed. Just from this kind of distance, yeah. he with the spear. And we be looking at it so surface, we don't realize how much, how many more layers to this it is, bro. Like actually busing them there to get to this point, well trained, Russia involved. Like it's so much more to it that we don't even know about that they aren't telling us, bro. And to hear that, that. That just changes things for me here and that, man. Cause now I'm thinking about our borders and 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 what's the ulterior motive that is happening there and different things. So it's like this this is just all scary, bro. The spear. Yes, yeah, so it's not safe for us to be here because it's just a moment and you might be dead. But three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, the war starts every night. Every night. And then we hopped in the car to visit another part of Poland's border deep in the forest. It used to be a completely weak border just a few years ago. A little bit creepy out here. Oh yeah. You wanted to come and see. <laughs> yeah. And this is reality. Sure. Keeping our eyes peeled to see if we see anyone in the forest. It's not impossible to get through the wall, but it's highly unlikely given the amount of security here. I thought this would be a little bit more lax, like some parts of the southern border in the U.S. No, this, this is not relaxed. Is, this is this is war. Actual this is complete war. the actual war. We made it. I will hop out so you can see, but this wall is in the middle of the forest. The road is not even paved. Just to emphasize how rural this location is. We had to do it in the middle of the forest. Yeah. There was no infrastructure. Sure. Because that was a that is a green border. Yeah. So okay, so we see soldiers <laughs> already. We can see the border actually as it is. Look how long it is. Yeah. And not only that, we have barbed wall and then another wall, double wall. And then you have got soldiers, right? So that's very important. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully masked up with their yeah, faces that, too. They are recorded by yeah. Russian, so they don't want to. And there's cameras in the forest right now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Recording yeah. recording Polish soldiers. That's right. That's right. So day in, day out, they're watching these walls. They're probably gonna ask who are we? Sure, sure. Fair question. All those cameras right there. Massive surveillance. Hi. Everyone who died because of the terrorists in Europe is because your lack of decisions, lack of bravery, political correctness, you are responsible. Leftists are responsible for chaos in Europe. And they think they fight us, Republicans, conservatives. You're not fighting us. You're fighting with your own nations. We are protecting our own nations. And this is the proof. Can you hear that? Oh, they're throwing stuff. They're throwing stuff. We heard it. I heard a rock. Yeah. Should we say hi? Uh, no, they're throwing rocks. Why? Because they behave like animals. Unfortunately, they don't behave like civilized, civilized people. You can see on the video. This belong? They, they can easy, that, like long spear. It's like on the video when our soldier was killed, it's easy for them to, to throw it and kill you. Let's get out of here. If you can't hear it on the mic, they're throwing rocks right now. People do want to get in. The question is, when will they try and how will they be punished? Let's get out of here, yeah? After seeing the symbol of Poland's defiance against the EU's push towards diversity, open borders, and economic opportunity for those less fortunate from countries that are culturally dissimilar, I met up with Dominique in Brussels to see where Europe's elite politicians meet and decide the fate of an entire continent. Okay, let's go. I'll show you how we do it. Amazing. What's, the, it? what's the current split between uh, liberals and conservatives in parliament right now? It's, it's about 100 conservatives yeah. on 70, uh, 720 uh, MEPs. So it's not much, but I think it's better to be a strong, small group rather than 
a massive. You know the story of 300. Sure. It's us. What are your thoughts on uh, the rest of Parliament here, the EU in general? I don't like it. What are your thoughts like on Brussels? It? I don't like it at all. Okay. I tell you why. Again, I'm trying to be very objective, but I cannot be blind on statistics. Rapes, killings, stealings, stabbings. We don't have it in Poland. Sure. And when you see official data from here, from yeah. Eurostat, you see how Poland great is. It's so sad. But then when we are trying to tell them what is the reason of all this, they don't want to listen. They think that they're better, smarter. And okay. now, yeah. How large of a check would I have to write to uh, buy you out? You don't have this kind of money. <laughs> okay. You see, the difference between me and the rest is that I don't need sponsors. I don't need it. That's why they don't own me. I That's see. why I can say what I think and what I believe. This is what they're afraid of. The voice of the people. Oh, this is it? This is it. If we pop in? So, yes, uh, it's closed, right? It's closed. Yeah. Okay, so this is the place where we take votes and this is the place where we have a speeches. Uh, we have two buildings. This is how, this is the machines for voting. Okay. What will it take to make Europe great again, in your opinion? Uh, to go back to the roots, Roman law, Greek philosophy, Christianity, not only as a faith, but also as a culture, as the way of living, uh, mentality, art, music, everything. That's why I think Roman law, Greek philosophers, and uh, what we had, not only last century, but throughout century, is great. I want to raise my future children as a, as a Christian. So when you see attacks, on Europe, you see attacks on Christianity, mainly on, on Catholics. In 20 years, how do you think Europe will look like at this rate? It's going to be very, very bad. It's yeah. not going to change for better. I think it will be more killings, more stabbings, more terrorist attacks, uh, more wokeness, unless most of the nations will change their governments. So um, please God, they will wake up. But the change will start if Donald Trump wins in US. Because whatever happens in US, it happens in, in Europe six or 10 months later. Do you think we'll see walls like what we saw in Poland and other European countries soon? It's a matter of time. Yeah, 100%. The final word to the viewers and to you would be always remember who you are. Be proud of who you are. Do not be afraid. Be brave. Fight and make your life great. I know this is a tough one. Dominic, are you single? <laughs> Yes, I am. Why? I don't know. I'm sure some viewers might be curious. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Come on, you got to think about family, no? Yeah, I am single, so. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Be like Poland. Be like Poland. Be brave. Cheers. Bye, Dominic. Bye.